Hi, in this video, I'm going to go over my income report for Q1 of 2023. So you can see over here that at the time of recording this video, it's the 6th of April. So what I've decided to do from now on is to, you know, instead of creating income report videos each and every month, to create them at the end of each quarter instead. And I've already created an income report for January. So I'm not going to go over January's units and royalties. And I'm just going to go over my results for February and March. So you can see here that in February, I sold a total of 442 units. And actually the income report videos that I make, they're all based on one particular pen name that goes by the name of Miles Elkins. So in this pen name, I share with you all the books that I publish and I don't keep them hidden. So in February, I sold 442 units and these units brought me in a total of $965 in royalties as you can see here. And if I just go over to my income and expenses spreadsheet, you can see that I've put in the figures for February, so $965. And I've also added in my expenses, which are for ads. So you can see here that in the US, I spent $115, and then in the UK, $82, and then $30 in Canada. So this leaves me with a profit of $937 for February. And just going back over here, you can see that in March, I sold a total of 376 units which was less compared to February and these units they brought me in a total of $834 in royalties and once again if I go back over here to this spreadsheet you can see that I've put in my income and my expenses for ads and this leaves me with a profit of $637 in March and you can see that compared to January and February my royalties have dropped quite a bit and this is something that has actually been worrying me as to why my royalties have been dropping. You know, most of my books are still ranked onto the first page and I'm still running ads on my books, but yet the royalties have been dropping. And I think something that I've learned and discovered over the last few months is that if you stop publishing books, you know, if you stop publishing new books and new niches, then over time your royalties can drop. And as you can see here that from these stats that you know, the last four months, I didn't publish any books at all. And in fact, if I go back further, you can see that, you know, for the last 12 months or so, I only published in a handful of niches and, you know, I've been a bit lazy and neglecting publishing new books. And you can see that because of this, the royalties have also dropped. You can see here that I also record the percentage growth. And during the months when I have been publishing books, my royalties grew. Whereas most of the months where I stopped publishing books, my royalties dropped. And also my best selling book, which is this book over here, my mood tracker journal, you can see that it's lost a bit of rank. So initially it was ranked around here. So on the first page and, you know, close to the top in first and second position. But you can see that it's nowhere to be seen over here. And if I scroll down, you can see that, you know, now it's sitting somewhere in the middle of the page and you know, it's lost a lot of rank. And I think part of the reason for this is that, you know, a lot of competition has come in. So just going over here, you can see that uh, competition has come in and they've created different books offering different value compared to mine. And as a result, they've taken the top positions in ranking and my book has dropped. And that's also the case with other books as well that, that are part of this pen name. You know, some of them, they've lost rank. And I think that's just part of KDP as well, you know, whatever books you publish and whatever value that you provide, you know, after some time, other people, they'll create newer books and provide different and more value, attracting more customers. And as you already know that the more sales that you make for your books, then the higher your books rank on Amazon and also on the first page. So of course, this is something that worries me and, you know, nobody wants to see their sales drop. So what I'm going to do from now on is I'm going to start to become more proactive in KDP. You know, the last several months to a year, I've been creating these YouTube videos and, you know, I've been giving more attention to YouTube and sort of neglecting KDP. And because of this, as I've shown you, my royalties have dropped. So going forward, what I'm going to do is publish in at least three to four niches per month. And within this particular pen name, you know, I'm going to try to publish in at least one niche every couple of months and that way what I'm hopeful for is that you know my royalties they grow slightly and if they don't grow then at least they remain where they are 
So I think that's important. I think it's important to continue to create books, if not for the sake of increasing your royalties, then at least for the sake of maintaining your royalties. So let's say you're making a thousand dollars a month and you know you're happy with your royalties and you don't want to publish any new books. I'd say that that's a bad idea because what can happen is over time your royalties can drop. So instead what you should do is publish in at least one or two niches a month. You know they don't have to be too difficult. You can publish in logbook and journal niches that don't take too long to create and publish in. And that way your royalties will remain where they are and not drop too much. So this is my income report for Q1 of 2023. The next time I create one of these videos will probably be in July. And I'm just going to leave the video at that. If you enjoyed it, then do give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.